hey friends welcome back uh, i hope you are doing great and merry christmas long long time ago i decided to create my own editor like a generic editor for myself using a max list today is 22nd of december 2021 and it marks the anniversary of my first comment on that editor in order to celebrate this day, I have decided to start a new video series on how to build an editor with uh, Emacs Lisp. In this video series, we're going to create an editor, development uh, environment, window manager, file manager, and so many other functionalities using Emacs Lisp. Emacs is a fantastic piece of software. It's really amazing. Um, usually when I pick up a new technology and I use it for a while, um, when I find something like shinier or newer or uh, generally better, I switch to that new thing. But I'm using Emacs um, since 2007 and so far after all these years, nothing actually replaced it for me. It's such an amazing tool. And in order to appreciate it, you need to understand it first. Um, most of people, like usually these days, especially the younger generation, they're like, yeah, it's just another e editor. But the fact is Emacs is not really an editor. It's, it's an Lisp environment that happened to have an editor attached to it, right? And you can do pretty much everything with Emacs Lisp, whatever you can do with other programming languages like Python or stuff like that, you can do it with Emacs Lisp as well. In fact, I created my own HTML, like a static HTML generator to uh, build my static website. Like it works great. It meets my requirements. And overall, like, for past, I don't know how many years, I like it was a, such a joyful journey and experience to work on my own editor to build the stuff that I need using Emacs Lisp. So my goal is to spread the joy. Uh, hopefully, some someone might have might find it interesting and might uh, experience the same joy that I uh, experienced before. Also. Uh, another goal of mine is uh, like for this video series is to act as a guideline for any contributor who wants to work on this editor with me or any user who wants to pick it up and use it. It has like few users at the moment, uh, mostly due to my laziness. I didn't do, I didn't create much documentation on the previous versions. So I'm in close contact with every user. I, I, I was like a kind of a documentation like a live documentation <laughs> but hopefully that's going to change in the uh, v3 that i'm working on at the moment and finally if you like this video series would be a good uh, starting point for anyone who wants to uh get their feet uh, wet with uh, some lisp and get started with some form of lisp emax lisp can be really easy to start it doesn't have that much complexity and Overall, it's, it would be a good starting point. So this video series is going to be uh, uh, like, I'm going to continue this video series in parallel to my other one uh, about compilers. Uh, I have a video series, you probably know it by now, called how to build a compiler with LLVM and MLIR. I'm building my own compiler and my programming language and sharing the experience I have, like I gained during the course of uh, developing a compiler. So if you didn't check that out yet, give it a go. Probably uh, it would be interesting to you, I hope. Um, I'm going to create a branch for each episode for this video series, including this one. And you can like, because we have a, like, I'm going to work on the source code quite often um, it's going to change and in order to uh, kind of keep the material of this video series consistent with the source code, you need to refer to the branch of each episode. I'm not going to do any live coding. It's super hard to do that. Like you need like a good free time. Uh, usually I pick up any chunk of free time I might find and develop some features and I'm going to make a video afterward. Um, 
we're going to start with the vanilla emacs for a while like few episodes to show you around to give you an idea of like how we, we're going to like how did i started creating an editor from scratch basically using emacs lisp and after a few episodes we're going to jump to fg42 which is my own editor the thing that you you see at the moment and you see in my old editor like other videos uh, we're going to continue from there because like i already built uh, so so much stuff in uh, in that world so i'm going to describe them to you and uh, move forward from there and feel free to contribute if if you have ideas to add to this editor if you want to see something new in it or if i make a mistake and you want to correct my stuff uh feel free to contribute uh, i i appreciate your contribution and it would make me super happy so to give you a little bit of a story history sorry uh this is my editor as you can see right now it's my editor mail client window manager file manager terminal emulator some like some times ago i used to use it as irc client uh to this day i still use this editor like fg42 to manage my to do's and uh it kind of works as my office suit as well because uh you know it's not like google uh, docs or anything but i i'm writing a book uh using my editor um i do a spreadsheet in it uh so many other functionalities so around 2007 i used to use some other uh editors last one i used was uh kate i guess it was like a kde based editor i try like i was in pursuit of finding like a right tool for myself and obviously i didn't have much experience back then um one day i was in a linux user group uh, in my town uh, i saw a guy sitting beside me doing some magical stuff uh, in in his editor in a terminal <laughs> emulator and i was so impressed i asked the guy what is it he, he told me what emacs is and why it, it's good but i to be honest i had difficulties to understanding him so knowing that i like i tried to use emacs for a while the first time i remember i couldn't even like when i open up emacs i couldn't even exit it so i was like ah oh, it's so different so different but i was kind of pescier than that i uh, tried to figure out how it works little by little i kind of liked uh, emacs and after three years in 2010 I had a, like a my own configuration of Emacs. It still was configuration, so um, I just configured some different libraries to do something, and I had an editor, and only for myself. In 2010, I was in a train uh, back home, going back home from work, and I was like, you know what? If I like Emacs, like if it's so good, I want my friends to use it, but. I don't want them to go through the like, difficulties that I have. Let's create a generic editor so other like my friends can actually use it. Pick it up, start using it, and like at least uh, hide some of the difficulties at, at first. So that was the, how it started. Uh, it, I changed the name a few times. The first few names were very kind of <laughs> not good. Um, but it's now 12 years old i it went through many iterations right now i'm working on the v3 uh, kudos to everyone who contributed to this editor there's like dozens of people people already and it's just a, it's it's like my aim is to create an editor with a generic api for people to add their own stuff uh to it, it it would be like a higher level api than what emacs provides and we're going to figure it out during the course of this video series together all you need to do to get us started is like emacs version 27.1 or anything recent than that uh, you, you can find the website of fg42 at uh, fg42.org it's auto generated using emacs lisp again um, we're going to see how it's gonna like how i'm generating that website 
uh, in few episodes and you can find the source code on uh, devheroes.codes slash ft42 the vcs hosting that uh, i use and you can find my website at uh, lexamir.com if you have any idea if you want to see any feature in this video series or do you, if you have any feedback please please reach out to me uh, via email lexamir at gnu.org and lexamir at uh, lexamir.com um i'm excited for this video series it's uh, like this editor is really close to my heart i like i'm using it for such a long time and it's kind of a piece of me right now so for more episodes stay tuned um merry christmas again and have a great day